Alright guys, it's day two of our sheep hunt. Uh, we're checking out this area we got a tip at. Uh, it's like it's supposedly like a 200 inch ram in here, so we're gonna go give it a try. And uh, we just spotted some sheep in this little basin uh, where we're headed to. And it, so the guys that showed us a picture showed us another picture of a little ram the big sheep was with. And we spotted that ram, so we're gonna go check out. Hopefully that big 200 inch or just behind the little crevice or somewhere we can't see him. So we're gonna see if we can find him. Alright guys, um, we just made the top of this little mountain, uh, we changed spots actually yesterday, we got a dude in camp that uh, was friendly enough and he said he saw a nice ram where we're headed and uh, he's guessing around that 200 inch mark so definitely something we got to take a look at. Um, yeah just nice the guy kind of giving us pointers, um, nice thing that sheep take, not a lot of people have it so they'll tell you stuff so we're going to go check this area out. Uh, we saw one sheep this morning. It was like a 140, 150 ram, not that big. Uh, it had a good curl above, and as soon as it dropped below its ears, it just lost mass, but it had a full curl. So um, just we need a little bigger mass towards the bottom, and we'll be looking good. But uh, as of right now, we'll just keep going. Uh, this is our first little checkpoint, uh, checking where he's at. So I'll give you guys an update in a little while. Steep stuff. Um, you know, that little ledge right here. Just walk by it. A ton of sheep beds and sheep poop and stuff. That's just a good bedding area for them. They love little edges like that where they can look over the country. So this is kind of some of the stuff we're hunting. Quote unquote sheep habitat, but pretty cool. Let's see for my. Alright guys, so in this part, uh, we're actually sitting down right now, and uh, this we're spotted just six sheep on the ridge um, far away, and uh, some smaller rams, nothing really we're too interested in, and we were sitting there, we actually had a smaller ram come right underneath us and run by, it's cool, we got a good video of that, so uh, it's a cool experience, and we're going to go hike up a little more, get close to those six six sheep up on that ridge, and see if we can make another one up here somewhere that might be a shooter, so we'll see what's going on over there. Three of the four are small. I'd say a lot of other areas that one would probably be a shooter. That's the that's the ramp up. There's six. Six U's. No, eight U's. Guys, it's a windy one out here. We just bumped a ram to the left about uh, half a mile. And then we just came on the ledge, started 15 U's, now six rams. Not enough size to, to look at, but it should be a big one if there's that many U's. So we'll try to find one.
Alright guys, so in this part, uh, we're actually headed out to check out this sheep you guys saw in the video. Uh, we figured if that many uh, ewes, there had to be a bigger ram around since, you know, it's just being in the sheep rut. So we figured we're going to go check it out, get a little closer, see so if we can give it a look, and maybe that big old ram is just around the edge. So we're moving closer right now, and we'll give you guys an update in a minute. by the yucca plant. There's one, two, three, four, five rams. All of them are good. Yep. And that little one that went up over the hill. Got any extras of those, big fella? That I could have some of? Look at that you up on the pan to keep panning and go to the left up on the on the rim rock or on the she's climbing it. I see it. I'm just trying That's to pretty cool. Nate, you're good. Uh it's a little ram. There was another ram. That's the one who came by us, I think. Look like the same, like his horns look fuzzy damn near. That really has a collar on it. Which one? Huh? We just came over to look at the rams. Ended up being five of them. Nothing big enough to enough to shoot. Thought there was gonna be a bigger one out here than some to use, but we were wrong. So we're gonna head back to the truck now and go asking our way back. Alright guys, so this, in this part we just got up within 90 yards of the sheep in the video. Uh, we got really close to him, it was cool to see that sheep that close in person and uh, unfortunately it was not a shooter. The 200 incher we saw in the picture was not there and nothing else that really gave us too much interest. So we're going to keep going and have a have a different plan tomorrow. I think we're going to try a different area. Uh, not saying that 200 incher is not around, but I'm guessing he just moved and checking out a different area for use. So we might come back to that later in the week. But right now we're going to go see if we can find another ramp. So. Thank you.